here I am going to demonstrate you how to install Koha on a dual system that is the Koha installation of Koha on the machine where already Windows operating system is installed so the very first requirement is you have to open your Windows and click over the computer icon now you can see there are various drivers like C drive, E drive, D drive and F drive you have to blank one of the drive already installed on your windows machine for this purpose you have to right click on your computer and then click manage button then click yes now here you can see a op option disk management you have to double click this disk management now you can see your drives here C D E F and this is the blank which has been already deleted by me by right clicking that drive for example suppose I am clicking F right clicking on F now you can see the option delete volume so you have to delete this one to get this blank free space So after deleting your uh, one of the drive in windows option you have to insert this live DVD CD into your CD DVD drive of CPU and restart the computer. Then you have to either press F10 button or Dell button continuously to get the boot option menu so that you can choose CD DVD driver to boot from the CD to install the Koha live DVD into your machine. So after pressing the F10 button I got this boot option in my computer system. So I have to select Sony DVD RW87280S option to boot the Koha live DVD directly from the CD DVD drive of my computer so I am selecting this option and pressing the enter button now you can see custom live CD CD there are three or four of three or five options there so you have to out of these options you have to select the third one to install the live Koha DVD into your system but if you do not want to install your the Koha DVD into your system then you can select the live boot live option that is boot the live system in this option you can directly check the Koha without installing this Koha system into your machine and it will not affect anything in the computer machine but you can fully exploit the Koha just by choosing this option so right now I have to install the Koha into the machine so I am choosing here the third option that is install start the installer directly now you have to wait since the machine is reading from your live DVD now it is booting it will take few minutes you have to wait it will take time depending upon your machine or the reading capacity of the CD DVD driver
it is getting information from the live DVD accordingly you have to keep patience now you can see the first option in this option it is option to choose the language so simply you have to click here continue now this is the second option where computer is getting information whether it is connected from the internet or not or you want to download updates directly while installing the system and the minimum hard disk requirement which is needed to be installed the Koha Live DVD so you need not to choose anything simply you have to click continue button here also and uh, my dear friend this is the most important option whether you have to be very very careful because this option may destroy your existing windows operating system in your machine now here we have chosen option for dual booting system so you can see here there are three options the first one is the install custom alongside windows 7 means even after choosing this option it will install this koha live dvd alongside your windows and the second option is to replace windows 7 with your custom so and the third option is something else so here my dear friends we will choose the something else option because we have already created free space to install our koha live dvd into the windows operating system so we will select this third option that is something else please be careful do not continue without reading all these three options and understanding the concepts so again I am telling you you have to select here third option to install the Koha live DVD into the space which you have freed in the through the windows operating system and then click continue now this will display your already existing partitions of the windows operating system ntfs 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 these are actually your window partitions so here you can see the free space also this is the actually space which you have freed in your windows by deleting one of the drive now what we have to do is we have to double click this free space now you can see this option here we are partitioning the free space in order to install our Koha live DVD so first of all we will assign this 500 MB and we will choose here boot option be careful we have to first choose boot option and 500 space and then click OK done now again you will see here free space rest of the free space again, again double click it and now here you have to take care that you have to exactly use all the space which is showing here but you have to separate just double of the space of your RAM system in the system that is if 1 GB is RAM then you have to almost subtract 2000 MB from this rest of the space here I am just replacing 3 by 1 it means it is automatically 2000 is left here so it will be used as a swap area I will demonstrate you in the next step then choose this root this is root in the 
this is called as root in Linux system and we will click here OK. Now rest 2000 free space you can see here simply again you have to double click it and here you have to select use as this is the drop down menu use as and you have to select swap area and just click OK button. Now the next step is you have to select install now. Now starting up the partitioners. In this next option you have to select your localities that is used for the timing and other aspects. So I am in India so I am choosing my country's time time zone. This is Kolkata and just continue here. This is just a keyboard layout so accordingly you have to select your keyboard layout. Mine is English US. So I am just continuing here. It is by default. Now this operation will take few minutes depending on the machine's capability. This process may take 10 to 15 minutes. So you have to keep patience. indicates almost finished copying files. Till that time you can take a cup of tea. Now installing system. system is configuring
now you can see installation is complete you need not to you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so my dear friend now we have to click restart now Now it indicates please remove installation media and close the tray. If any, then press enter. I am not going to remove this one. Simply again reinsert it. now here you can see there are options the first by default option is the computer will boot ubuntu but if you want to open your windows operating system then you have to choose choose this last option windows 7 but now i am going to open the koha installed on this machine right now so i will click enter now now you can see your ubuntu new installation desktop here you have to enter the password which has been assigned by me by default it is koha at iitr then enter it seems your installation is successful now I will click here this Mozilla now two windows are simultaneously opening opening one is default OPEC and another is staff client now the installation is complete and successful you can see the various options here and then log into your staff client here use your koha as username and india as default password as given in the documentation part enjoy your koha operating system thank you